Hi, good morning. This is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. I'm still here in Satopant. This is uh, day eight of my journey in this uh, beautiful Himalayan valley. And I'm exploring this morning with some uh, new recipes. You know, eating in the wild here, what you eat and the way you eat is really one of the key ingredients to keeping you high on energy. That's unless you are a sadhu and you have been here for 25 years and can feed yourself from the energy of the mountain directly. But for those of us who still need some food, you know, the kind of food that you eat is really essential. And yesterday I tapped into a, a new set of ideas. It's making some Cookies or cakes, not sure how you call them. These ones are based on the, some curry, you know, I have some uh, masala spices, I have some ghee, some flour, lemon, herbs, a whole bunch of uh, other ingredients. Uh, some stuff from uh, the um, Ayurvedic uh, store as well, some herbs, all sorts of things to keep you really good. And uh, what I do, I simply uh, put them for drying in the sun, you know, just sat there for a while, cover them. Of course, I don't have a dehydrator here. And once it dries out, uh, then I put them also inside the cave, which is like at uh, uh, 10 degrees temperature so they cool down and then they are this uh, crunchy almost like frozen curry cakes you know it's not a taste that you would expect but it's uh, it's super delicious actually and um, super high nutritious value anyway just wanted to give you some ideas about what's happening here I've been doing the same kind of recipe yesterday in a sweet form adding uh, some chewan crush instead of the curry and instead of the vegetables you know I don't have fruit here so I, I don't have I cannot make them with fruit, but I could, um, you know, you have all sorts of uh, variations that you can uh, that you can make. And, uh, you know, the idea is uh, to improvise and, uh, and be creative. <laughs> uh, this plate that you can see here, it's, uh, it's not the most uh, glamorous plate that I found in the, in the cave nearby. Another sadhu left it there, so... I'm using what I have uh, in in my hands here and uh, try to be creative with that. If you try it out, hope you have that you enjoy. And to get the taste really right, you know, just keep vari variating the recipe. These ones are extremely spicy. You know, I put lots of masala in it, lots of um, uh, fresh herbs. There is coriander in there. There is tulsi. So it's really a recipe which is filled with... Uh, lots of very powerful things. Anyway, have a wonderful time. Take care. Bye-bye.